Hello YouTube, my name is Rico Ryanfall, or Rico for short, and this is my first ever YouTube video where I will be showing and commentating on one of my League of Legends games. Now I want to point out, I am not one of those super duper really good League of Legends players. I am not level 30. I am, for this match, I am a level 23. So, I will be showing these games from a lower levels, po um, average person's point of view and I know that a lot of people who watch videos from Colby Cheese and LC Solar know, uh, are not level 30. So, <coughs> pardon me. So in this match I am playing as Singed and I am playing with three other friends, Nidalee, Dark Gecko, Chalky69 who is playing as Cho'Gath and Havix who is playing as Katarina. We are matched up with also a random person who is playing Twitch and we are up against Ajax, Shaco, Ash, Aurelia and Trendomir. You can see that the other team does a lot of physical damage whereas our team is quite balanced. You've got the um, physical damage from Twitch and I think Nidalee. I'm not sure, I've never played her. And you've got, oh there we go, and we're starting, sorry, there's a bit of a low replay thing. And I seem to be going up top with Welcome Katarina, to whereas Nidalee's going mid and Twitch is going bottom with Chagath. Oh, uh, maybe... Yeah, now I remember. Actually, Chagath will be going mid, <coughs> and Nidalee's going bottom. And I have gotten my poison trail first. It's important to level it up first, as it will help you immensely. When people chase you, you can just put it on, and they'll start taking a lot of damage. You can see I've started off with a door and shield and my money seems oh, to be going weird. And yep, Nidalee's going bottom. I'll just speed this up a bit. Yeah, I seem to be dancing. Minions have spawned. Okay. Oh, there we go. <coughs> and you can see since I have the poison trail on there, I've already taken a lot of damage. I have taken Flash and Exhaust, and I got First Blood. That was not good because Jax was tower diving. Never tower dive at level 1, even if you want to get First Blood, just <coughs> wait later into the game because it will, like, <coughs> pardon me, I'm a little bit sick today. Um, but anyway, because you have such low health and armor that it will not be good. And you can see here that I'm using my poison trail to farm minions. And oh, and there's Trindomir using health. Now this is with the patch that gives uh, Trindomir rage instead of using health. And completely new look. And here comes Jax again. So we're almost level two, as you can see. And oh, but, oh, sorry about that. And they're still quite low on level 1, especially Jax. There we go. So I think I get my fling now. Yep. And I'll just check the other lanes. Yep. Jackie. Uh, sorry, because League of Legends doesn't have health bars. <coughs> so, yeah, mid going well. And it seems that bottom's going well as well. Uh, <coughs> Shaco's. <coughs> Popped a health potion, and, oh, pardon me about that, I didn't see, but it seems that I just flung him and used my poison trail there. So, sorry I missed that, but I got the kill on uh, Jax. So right now, my partner is going to be, <coughs> where, and I'll just continue farming minions, and when he comes back, I will... I think go be, because I'm low on mana, and I've got about half health, a little over half. Okay. So, I just, yep, got another point in my poison trail. Now... An enemy has been slain. Oh, 
and I didn't see that, sorry about that. But, oh, and I seem to be recording now. Oh, maybe not. <clears throat> Think I just wanted to hit level four. Yep, there we go. Um, not sure, maybe I should go over since to since abilities. Oh, when you see our board boots his witness, a health potion, mana, mana potion. So his passive empowered bulwark, he gains additional health for the more mana he has. So see, it's right now at level four. I gain 2.5 health for each 10 mana, <coughs> so I get 98.75 health for 395 mana. Um, his Q, Poison Trail, it's a toggle and when it's on, it leaves a trail of poison behind him, which um, inflicts the, anybody who's around it, or sorry, in it, um, with poison. <laughs> Uh, as you can see there it is and it's very good <coughs> when people are chasing you because then they get poisoned and you can t just turn around later and maybe kill them and here's W, Mega Adhesive <coughs> um, it leaves a sticky area on the ground which, oh, and sorry my partner's gonna die there um, and Mega Adhesive throws like a sticky area on the ground and anybody that goes over it is slow. Here's E, Fling. Um, it fl it's like a short radius. Um, see? The small radius. Um, and it flings someone uh, to the opposite side of him. Whichever side the enemy was on. It's very good for getting people into your turret and the fling is just extremely large like the area that it flings and <coughs> his oh there we go that's the mega adhesive sorry because I thought he was going to come here and just check these other names quickly. I hit level 5 oh and I killed Jax he was pretty low should have been <coughs> His ultimate is Insanity Potion, and he gains Ability Power, Armor, Magic Resist, Movement Speed, Extra Health Regen, and Mana Regen, as well as reducing Crowd Control effects by 10% for 25 seconds, but that's a level 1. So, it's extremely useful for catching up to people, or most likely getting away, because since you have the extra um, health regen, then you'll be able to keep alive longer and the mana regen will... Oh, and there you go. The poison, I was just going around him, not basic attacking, because then the po I knew the poison would get him, and yeah, I just got my ultimate. <coughs> and the crowd control of, um, effects um, really does help for getting away. And you can also put your poison trail. So his ultimate poison trail works really well with something like Ryolai's Crystal Scepter because you can have your poison on just all the time when you have your ultimate on so it slows people who are chasing you. It's extremely useful and I think I do that later on. Now this is my first time as Singed but I do get a pretty good score which I'm surprised about because I hardly ever get a good score. Well, I do get good scores but not for the first time. <coughs> and they just took down bottom time. Shaco's top for some reason. No one called me up. Oh, well, ages ago. So I'm going to be. I really think my partner should as well. And what am I gonna pick up? I think I'm gonna pick up a blasting wand. Something. Huh. 
Well, <coughs> yep, there we go. My partner's beating. It seems to be going pretty good. Bottom's pushing a lot, and without Shaco, they should probably push some more because Aurelia can't stop both of them. Level 7, level 6, and she's level 6. And they're just. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Last ink wand. Because I wanted to build a Rhylai's. Uh, yep, there it is. Rhylai's, so blasting wand. So a giant spell, amplifying tone, blasting wand, and then Rhylai's. Right, so here I am. Now. Right, so at the goal. And I seem to be going mid arcs. I thought that being Chalky could get her. But she seemed to have... She like... Oh, sorry that I missed that, but... Yeah, Jax has been quite low. And not playing pretty good. And Havix is just going to duke into the bush. Very smart play by Havix. He was... Oh, see? 50 health. Very smart play. And sorry I missed that, but Twitch killed and then got killed by a minion. <coughs> but it's good that Shaco wasn't focusing Twitch, otherwise Twitch would have lost his killing spree. So it, when you get a killing spree and you want to, it's not advisable to tower dive someone. Uh, oop, unless you, oh, okay, unless you know that you can kill them and get away because <coughs> if you die in the process then you'll get the kill for sure but um, the enemy will get a killing uh, get the killing spree so they'll just get a lot of gold and I'm just running from Trinomir here I think I don't know if I had Rylai's right here then I could have slowed him but Havix was here so and I think we get to kill him Uh, I think we tower dive here. Yep, there we go. We don't tower dive, but... Yeah, and Jax, see, he... C I don't know how he's poisoned. Unless my poison trail got him. And... Right now, he should just... Yeah, he's got Emblem of Valor and a Ninja Tabby, so... <coughs> Let's see... Stats... Uh, yeah, I've got a pretty low creep score, which is unfortunate. The good side is that I have kill a few kills and a few assists. Um, Cho'Gath has a lot of, yeah, a lot of CS, which is pretty, which is really good for mid at 12 minutes. Oh, and Twitch down here. Right. Okay, well that was unfortunate. Twitch got killed, so his, uh, as you can see, his killing spree was taken. And we just tower dived and got, wow, that, does that? Looks smaller to you. And we got Jax, and which is unfortunate that he quit, but I mean, he can't feed us anymore. <laughs> but it's not good for your team when you quit, especially if the, even if the game's going bad, you shouldn't quit um, because it puts your team at a major disadvantage. And even if the game's not going well, I've seen major um, comebacks. So as you can see, I'm quite low on mana, I can't do anything, and I think, uh, I think I just wanted to get enough money to buy my giant spell there. And, yep, sorry, nearly died, and Twitch is gonna run after Shaco, and there he is. I don't know what Twitch is doing. I mean, if you saw Shaco go up there, and Shaco knows that he's coming this way because of the minions, because the minions showed where Twitch was. So, I mean, he is stealth, but 